Hey guys, today I'll be taking a visit to Old Hill Bike Park in Bodmin in Cornwall. Uh, it's the first time I've visited this uh, site, so uh, I'm excited to get to a trail centre after such a long time. It's been a few years actually, it has to be said. Uh, so I'm going to answer some of your questions that you might have about the bike park and uh, show you what's what. Old Hill Bike Park is situated just off of the A39 in Cornwall, uh, very close to Bodmin and Wadebridge. So it's always nice if you can find where you're going nice and easily. So uh, today, to answer your question, I am looking out for signposts. I'm travelling southbound on the A39 uh, down towards uh, Wade Bridge, I guess. And uh, I am now apparently, according to my sat nav, 0.5 miles away. So let's see how well signposted it is. <laughs> farm this is where it's directed me into uh, I'm yet to see a sign for Old Hill Bike Park so let's see if uh, I'll get arrested for trespassing if this is wrong well I'm heading back out of this little lane I've been directed down because uh, it just goes to someone's house by the looks of things so I'm pretty certain this is not it <laughs> Uh, a sign on the road would have been handy, but uh, it may not be their fault. I may, it might, sat nav just might have made me turn left too early, but uh, let's go and see what's a little bit further down the road. Okay, so let's try a little bit further down the road. I know it is over in that direction because I've looked, looked on Google Earth, so uh, let's go and have a look, shall we? Right, let's try down here. There's still no sign, so I'm hoping for the best. Okay, so it looks like we have got a sign finally, uh, literally right as you're here. So uh, they're not, definitely not getting full marks for signage. Uh, one on the main road would have been well handy there. The parking situation is good. It is right off of the uh, road that leads you into Old Hill Bike Park. And as you can see, there's plenty of space here. Uh, I believe there's some further space the other side of the start ramp over there, uh, should it overspill. Okay, facilities are pretty basic. Uh, there's no clubhouse as such, but we have got an old caravan here, which I guess uh, during busier times, uh, someone is probably manning that. Um, with regards to toilets and that kind of thing, I have spotted a porter cabin, sorry, a porter potty style thing, a portable toilet anyway, uh, over in a field over there. So I'm assuming that's the toilets. Um, I'll be sticking it clear of those unless I can help it, but uh, it's nice to know there's a bog there if you need it. Currently, there is no clubhouse or anything like that. So if you're looking for a bacon signy when you get here, you will be out of luck, I'm afraid. They do, however, at the weekends I've seen on Facebook group, on their, on their Facebook page, have like a burger van come down at the weekend, which I'm sure does a roaring trade. But uh, if you can't guarantee that will be here, make sure you bring some food and drink, because it is definitely thirsty work and you will work up an appetite. Well, just how much does it cost for you to come here to Old Hill Bike Park? I actually paid £10 to come today. Um, I have seen on their website that the price is advertised as £12.50, I think, for a full day, £8.50 for a half day. Um, but I just think at the moment, perhaps with what's going on with coronavirus and stuff, it's just like a blanket price. Uh, so I did pay £10 to come here today, uh, which I would say is good value for money. Obviously, there's not much in the way of facilities, but you don't really pay for that. You can bring your own food, your own drink, um, and there is a port of your toilet in the corner somewhere. So um, I would say for access to having trolls like this, it is good value for money. So 
So it's always nice to know if you can bring your nipper down here as uh, somewhere to have a nice little practice. And we've got some green trails here, which are classed as beginner trails. Um, I'm going to guess that this is one of the green trails just here. Uh, in fact, it might be these little ones over here. So I'll go and check those out, but I'm pretty sure there's plenty of stuff here for the nippers and beginners. Okay, further to that, you've got a little run here called the Dragon Run, which is a nice easy roller, uh, which culminates in this like patch of earth, which gives you a running ramp to uh, more rollers there. So that's a great little one for beginners and kids. Okay, moving on from the greens, we then have a blue, which is the Bodmin Beast. It's got a rather nice little start ramp and a little tabletop at the beginning, and it rolls around a nice berm into a set of doubles. And there's uh, some nice flowy berms by the looks of things. So thumbs up for that. Again, it all looks rollable. There is no uplift at Old Hill Bike Park, but uh, there is a nice push up ramp here, uh, which is quite a nice even gradient. Uh, obviously it is uphill, but uh, it's nothing too tight. It's certainly rideable and uh, not too strenuous to push up. Uh, and also being a small bike park, it is not a long way back up to the top. I'm going to attempt this for the first time riding up and see how out of breath I am. So after two minutes of riding approximately from the very bottom, you can just about make out this start ramp over there. So a good three or four minute ride to the top. Anyone can handle that pretty much. If I can, you can. Well, the toilets, uh, I'm pretty sure I have established that there is a porter potty or portaloo over here. Uh, you can just see it peeking out over there. Now I uh, dodge public toilets at uh, the best of times and the uh, idea of a portaloo fills me with dread, it has to be said, uh, having been to a couple of festivals. <laughs> but I'm sure they're not all like that. And uh, since I could really do with a wee wee, I'm gonna go and check it out. You might want to ride there, it's a bit of a walk. Okay, uh, you know, don't take this as me knocking the place because it is in its infancy. It's only a couple of years old, this place. Uh, so I'm sure they're getting established. And really what most people want when they come somewhere like this is decent trails. And they've certainly got that. So I guess the next thing they'll be working on is facilities and toilets and that kind of thing. So for the purpose of today's experiment, I'm going in. Uh, okay, I was expecting worse than that. Uh, you don't really want to see a toilet. Uh, it's just a rather clean portaloo, so marks are given for that. Well, I did just nearly faint when having been in there and I saw there was actually some toilet roll in there, uh, which is definitely a rarity in a portaloo, that's for sure. I don't think I've ever seen that before, so extra marks for that. Okay, so the bombing beast was all rollable again. There's a few little sets of doubles you can probably make out if you've got the speed on, uh, but plenty of tabletops and nice berms. And the nice thing I noticed uh, once you get past like the pylon, uh, the path actually splits. Uh, so then the part of it might be a red and then the blue carries on or the blue might split into a couple of parts. So there's plenty of opportunity for you to uh, scope out some different lines all the time. There's uh, quite a bit of variety here given its size. Next, reds. So next we have the reds here called Scary Scarlet and that proceeds along this line here of uh, tabletops and I think there's a little double at the end and a little hip jump by the looks of things. Uh, now I'm not very good on a bike it has to be said uh, but I don't mind the look of this because you can roll it and uh, don't think too much bad stuff's going to happen but uh, uh, by all accounts this is a pretty good trail so I'm going to give it a shot in a second.
And for those who are a little bit more crazy, we have a black here, Mental Maybin, which has a nice roll in. Okay, and uh, this is what presents the problem for me. It's not so much that, because you're obviously going to clear that. It's what happens if you uh, go off the side there. <laughs> I think for, more for me, uh, but I don't think that's totally undoable. You can see where people have cased it a little bit there, but I uh, can't see any blood anywhere. Nice set of doubles there if you got the speed, which I assume you would have if you cleared that. Nice hip jump over there, and it looks pretty good and not too difficult once you got past this first stage. I'm sure there's some more tricky bits further on down there, so I'm going to go and check those out sort of uh, on foot. Well, I'll roll my bike up here and uh, see what's what after that. Okay, still on the black. <laughs> okay, after that first section, all of this is rollable, and then you do come to this feature here, which is clearly a set of proper doubles, um, which I am certainly not uh, skillful enough to tackle at the moment, or uh, haven't got enough guts either. Uh, but uh, never say never. Anyway, you just roll further down the hill. Uh, nice little hip jump there. That also is like a double. So you've got to make sure you don't case that one. Nice little uh, launch up there. Don't really know what you call that one. There's no one coming. Okay, so you obviously got to have a bit of speed on to uh, make that uh, off there, straight into another double. So, uh, I can see why this is the black line. You definitely need to have uh, your wits about you and a little bit of skill. But uh, saying that, once you've mastered these pieces here, I can't see that being too much of a problem, other than you need speed to uh, get up there. Well, we've already seen some of the gnarly features such as this, this, and this bad boy and a big set, of, big set of doubles over there uh, there does appear to be a dirt jump line going on over here don't know if that's open yet i do see some tape uh, but i'm sure i've seen some videos of people going up that ramp over there um we also have two big mounds of soil here now that could be a giant uh, set of doubles that's about to be built but i doubt it it's a bit big uh considering everything else that's here and uh, yeah i just can't see it but plenty of soil for them to uh, build some cool stuff I will go and have a look around all these jumps over here, but I won't be attempting those today. So I've spent uh, two or three hours here now. And uh, if you ask me, would I come here again? Absolutely, it is awesome. Uh, it's only 10 quid, it's an absolute bargain. You've got runs which are way beyond my means for the time being, so definitely space for progression there. Tons of little uh, little trail over there for the nippers. This blue is rollable, so uh, anyone of any standard can ride that if they get a bit of confidence. The red is great fun. The black looks the dog's balls, but uh, uh, just as I say, a little bit too much for me at the moment, but uh, I can wholeheartedly recommend a trip to Old Hill Bike Park near Bogdman. Uh, get yourself down there. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment and let me know what you thought of Old Hill Bike Park.